As the Amazon rainforest continues to burn, President Trump and Republican lawmakers want to tear down parts of what is known as America's Amazon, the Tongass Forest. Climate change looks different in Alaska. It's happening faster because we are out in nature, hunting, fishing, and gathering. We are seeing these things happen very rapidly. And it's hard because you see and you have a connection with the spirit of this place. We believe everything has a spirit that we even gave the trees a name because they are the Osquani, the tree people. They are a reflection of us and we are a reflection of them because when they breathe out, we breathe in. And when we breathe out, they breathe in. And they have sacrificed so much for our culture that we need to stand up for them. Thank you all for attending the subcommittee on National Parks, Forests and Public Lands oversight hearing on the impacts of the recently proposed Alaska roadless exemption. The Forest Service is really downplaying the effects that rolling back the roadless rule in the state of Alaska is going to have on our communities. It's not to be taken lightly. Wiping out our forests is going to be a cultural genocide on us. It's not okay to say that it's about jobs when it's taking out our livelihoods and our connections with our lands. But this is to protect for the next seven generations of the Clinket and the Haida and the Simshian people so they can experience the wonderful land that provides for us. Why is the Forest Service refusing to truly listen to the people who will have to be left in this devastation with the consequences of this repeal, especially Alaska Natives? I'm really aware of the voices we're hearing from Indigenous leadership in Alaska and very clearly bringing those voices to bear to the decision maker in this case secretary and for those things that um, we can do better I'm asking how we can do that well I think people are telling you really clearly what they want so I really do hope you're listening to the feedback we're seeing millions of youth on the streets telling us that they're terrified for their future and forests as scientists are telling us over and over again are key to mitigating climate change how in the world can we be possibly considering any sort of damage to our force, our harm. This is a new time. We're in a new reality. Something has to change. We cannot do business as usual, and we cannot continue to move forward as if we're not in a climate crisis. The Tongass Forest is the lungs of the North America. Eight to 10% of the carbon sequestration is absorbed by the Tongass, and that's a big number, and we need to protect that and a lot of it is from these old growth trees. The roadless rule is working. We are seeing it start to come back, but it needs a chance. These trees are still little. It takes a long time for them to grow. Senator Maria Cantwell and Representative Ruben Gallego have introduced into legislation making the roadless rule into a law. We would like it to be protected for many generations and not have to fight like this. Like our elders have always told us, we are the stewards of this land. We take no more than we need and only what our family needs. And the song means our grandparents' language. It is inside of us. It is growing stronger and may it exist forever. We are doing this for our next generation. I am not here for myself. I am here for our grandchildren, for our children, and for their children's children. Thank you all for being here and thank you for listening.